Thank you for joining us. This is Crypto RK bringing to you another educational video session from Bondix. Today we're going to talk about blockchain technology. How blockchain and crypto are revolutionizing many fields such as finance, the future of money, and why it is so important and a paradigm shift in technology. Let's dive in. So we're going to go through the basics of blockchain, how it works, implementations in cryptocurrencies, understand how it's impacting finance and the future of money, how we do transactions. Now, what is blockchain? What's blockchain technology? It's a distributed ledger, a distributed database with no central authority. Because it's decentralized, it reduces the need for trust because there is no because of the distributed control. It's not controlled by one entity. Immutable, once the data is stored, it cannot be changed. How the data is stored is through consensus. It means all the nodes where the data is stored, they have to be in an agreement. How do you achieve security? Transparency and security, that is done through cryptography. Enables peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Let's dive a little bit deeper. How does, you know, what is, what is, what does a blockchain look like? Exactly like it says, it's a, it's a bunch of blocks connected by a chain. Each block has a unique identifier called a hash. It's the digital footprint of that block. But the block also has in it the digital footprint or the hash of the previous block. And because of that, the data is tamper-proof. All the transactions are time-stamped. So let's think about it. If a block's interconnected, which have the previous block's hash, if you want to alter, say, a data, then you have, as you, let's say you store some data and you want to go back and change. You go back and if you want to change the data in that block, that, that will require rehashing of all the subsequent blocks. But because it's n it's not centrally controlled, it's, it's basically distributed control, it's not possible to do so. And that is what is makes it non-compromised. Now, how does the blockchain actually store the data? Essentially, all the nodes have to be in agreement that yes, we are ready to store the data. There are two mechanisms used. Proof of work, which is used in Bitcoin, where each node has to solve in a complicated equation and Proof of stake, which is a newer way of doing it, which many is a protocols such as Ethereum is using it, Solana is using it, etc. And once the the agreement is reached, then all the nodes, the data is stamped there at one go, and then all these records are chained through the chain. The blocks are linked using a chain. Now. Why does blockchain matter? Why is it important? Why do I say it's paradigm shifting? It's decentralized versus centralized. So why is that important? Each time you go to say a Facebook or you know Instagram or you know Twitter or Google, any any platform you use, the your digital footprints are controlled by that platform. Because they control the platform, they can kick you out. All your footprints, they monetize that. You know, Facebook, Instagram, they make billions of dollars through your footprints and through advertisement. Google also makes money through advertisement. So your footprints are being monetized by these centralized platforms because they control and own the data. In decentralized world, there's more control to the users where they can find ways to monetize their footprints and their data. Immutable insertion means you cannot, once you have inputted the data, you can't go and change it. Versus editable, where you can actually go and change the record. So think about it. You know, you've heard a lot of, you know, your company like Boeing is having a lot of issues these days with their, you know, reliability of their, you know, not all the passing all the tests of their product. Now, you know, if these, if, if all your testing requirements were on a blockchain, then you cannot go from one step to the next unless you have met all the requirements. Now, you know, in an editable world, you can go and, you know, fudge and say, yeah, we've done it. No, in blockchain world, you cannot go and edit. So that is 
that makes it very, very powerful. One is temper proof, other one is compromisable. And then the innovation that have happened since then, you know, smart contract that's revolutionized how we transact with each other, how, how we will transact over time. So once you agree, once the contract is written, then it's automatically implemented. You don't need third parties to implement these contracts. Now, you know, the cryptocurrency started out with blockchain, which was the first cryptocurrency implementation of blockchain. It was built on a principle of limited supply, decentralized and secure. With the success of Bitcoin came altcoins, where various new implementations were made using the similar technology, using blockchain and similar principles with uh, uh, protocols like Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Solana's, Solana, and so many others. But, but blockchain is the foundation for cryptocurrencies. That's the underlying technology which is used in these cryptocurrencies along with cryptography. What are the use cases of cryptocurrencies? I don't need to say much. Investment and trading. It's a new asset class for all for portfolios nowadays. Uh, you may have heard in the last two months, you know, January uh, 11th, I believe, was the first approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF. Since the spot Bitcoin ETFs were approved in just two months, over $10 billion of investor money has flown in with, with investors wanting exposure to cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. Peer-to-peer -peer payments without intermediary and decentralized finance where you can do all sorts of financial services without the traditional bank. So cryptocurrencies are finding a lot of applications and they are essentially revolutionizing finance. You know, blockchain itself, anywhere where you need a provenance has application. So for example, energy, peer-to-peer -peer energy trading platforms, finance, you know, efficient interbank payments. So for example, you know, a lot of these banks, they do borrowing from each other. They go to the Fed window to borrow money during the day so many times. Now, JP Morgan is, that market is called repo market. And JP Morgan is has implementing these transactions on a blockchain and they are essentially remove it, uh, removing the intermediaries through the settlement process and i believe they are saving hundreds of millions of dollars a day in the repo market you know provenance anywhere you need provenance blockchain comes into the play you know, uh, you know, products that you're buying, the authenticity can be built onto the product, into the blockchain. Uh, you know, the digital artwork itself, you know, NFTs is another example of provenance uh, building. Now, you know, like we said, it started out with Bitcoin and currencies, the blockchain technology. Then came smart contract. And now there, every day there are new applications, scalability, and the, you know, the industry is just beginning to branch out and, 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 and with new applications. Now, what are some of the challenges facing blockchain and cryptocurrency? Scalability, because the industry has been growing at a very fast pace, uh, that creates scalability issues and performance problems. Regulatory problems, you know, any time you're, you're dealing with money and, you know, interacting money between people, etc., usually there's regulations involved to make sure that the fraud does not happen. Now that was missing pretty much and now slowly you're getting SEC's approval into the into into this whole world of crypto, and that also brings it brings clarity, but it also brings more rules. And then, of course, you know, security and vulnerability in any new technology. There are issues with you know risk of theft or vulnerability etc. So to summarize, blockchain, like I said, is a paradigm shifting technology. It is impacting so many fields such as finance, essentially digital and real artwork, uh, medical field, you know, for example, uh, when you when you go to the, the, in the medical field where you get a lot of training can be done in the, in the metaverse. So it's got applications in many sectors 
and we are just starting out. The infrastructure is just being built now. And as the infrastructure is solidifying and the regulatory and uncertainty it is being removed, uh, you're, you're, slowly, you're slowly going to find this more and more pervasive in the main. So this is the time to learn about the blockchain and the crypto and, and st start to build your skills because this is going to be much more pervasive than what you're seeing in today's world. It's becoming, like I said, it's going to mainstream. Thank you all for joining. I hope you found today's session useful. Join the Bondex platform. You can apply for many jobs available in the blockchain and crypto right now, or you can refer to your friends and collect bounties in thousands of dollars upon successful placements. At Bondex, there are many ways to earn. Join, recruit, and earn. And the most exciting news is we are doing an airdrop very soon in, in the next few weeks. Please follow us on the social media and look for all the announcements and the dates. Yeah.